do want to help you find your dream home in Portugal. And I was thinking, well, you know, we've got Carl Hyde on. He's definitely an agent. He works for the agency. Well, you can't say agent. It's consultant. So Cons even for what people say agent, yeah. it's, not, it's a consultant. Unless they've taken a test and gotten oh, their own oh. AMI number, they're right. a consultant. So okay. there's um, a different differentiation between consultant and agent. So that was I was trying to explain. Thank and you. I think it's that term agent for everybody, but it's like yeah. saying attorney and solicitor. Like, OK, and it's, I guess it's what people are used to as well, isn't it? The habits people have. And of yeah. course, you have a real estate background. Do you not in the United States? I'm licensed. But, I trained agents, all of it. Yeah. In fact, I'm bringing that here, training agents around the Algarve how to work with Americans because yes. we're very proactive. You can't just sit and wait. We need title left for all our videos on it. But um, right. Well, I, well, I'm glad to hear that. But you that. you call yourself a consultant now. And I see you as a friend. Uh, if I was to try to think, yeah. what do I call Veronica? You're like a buyer's and seller's friend, aren't you? Um, really, I'm nice. like you. You're, I'm a connector. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're connectors. We connect all these people together. Oh, and I don't know. Glass of water, you're right. So um, I think... <clears throat> Excuse me, hairball. <laughs> <laughs> you must stop that. <laughs> so I always used to joke about the cat. Um, so, you know, when you're using terms sometimes, you know, when I was with Caldwell Banker, they put Realtor on my card. And yeah. I'm like, wait, Realtor is a trademark brand in America. And that basically right. means you have a real estate agent. And above that, people have agreed to join an organization with higher ethics, with a whole board, and you pay dues nationally, state level, locally, you lobby the government. There's a lot more to it, and you have to be accepted than just anyone who's an agent that um, does their state licensing exams and qualifications, which okay. in California, you get real estate law, you get all of that. It took me 40 hours, again, to renew my license this year um, of you know more real estate law, all the updates, um, and I'm never given that up because the California test is wrong. So you have to learn the wrong things. <laughs> okay. All right. So we've got that figured out. Um, and, and, and yeah, so you, you help people, you know, you're a connector. You want to help people. Uh, you yeah. want to help people find their dream home and you want to help people if they're selling a property locally to do that and to help people who are coming into Portugal find a great place. And we've got an example here, haven't we, of, of how you work. And also, I want to talk to you this morning, maybe when Carl arrives, yeah. about these naughty people who are wasting the time of agents. You've got to stop that. Not nice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's really unfair to be using real estate agents, consultants, um, as travel guides. Uh, but more on that later, because I want to have a look at this video. You've got a little, little bit of a, a showcase here. There is a longer video and yeah. you very kindly made us a segment of it. It's three minutes long, but let's have a little look around. This is how this is how Veronica shows us around the place. Hello, friends. Welcome to a sneak preview. You're getting it before anyone else. You are loyal followers, so you get to see the sneak preview. Uh, this is the terrace, a rooftop terrace, uh, with views to town and to the river and the ocean in Villarreal de Santo Antonio. Again, this isn't super professional, it's just a quick sneak preview. But, um, so, I'm gonna show you a quick tour, and um, again, not super professional, but it's a quick sneak peek. Cheers, my friend. Here's the, here's the view from the terrace. Okay, so this is the entrance to the building. And from the entryway off to the right is the powder toilet, or sorry, bathroom. And then either an office or a bedroom. Deciding if you want to make this an office or a bedroom. Outside, out the back, you have a terrace. So out this bedroom, you have quite a large terrace. And we get a shot this way of the terrace room as well. So there's the living room. I'll show you from the front. So, and then the kitchen. Nice light and bright. And we also turn and go downstairs where there's more rooms. Bathroom here. Shower tub. But um, um, they have a lot of space in this bathroom. Under the room, this is really special. This is amazing because usually your washer and dryer, your washer is in your kitchen and you don't have a dryer. If you don't want to hear your washer dryer, 
building Antonio's Cafe who is awesome I love Antonio the coldest super box in town and a little laundry mat if you need to do your comforters another cafe at the end a little party store gas store and then a few more steps and you're already at the other bars across or cafes across town so cake party and cake this is supposed to be one of the best Portuguese restaurants there in town, and then uh, Manuela's Cafe. Amazing. Thank you so much for that. And that's what people need to see, isn't it? Is you see the, the property, closets, plenty of closets. But then you come outside, you see where to buy gas locally, where you can get the coldest super box, uh, something nice to eat, the laundromat. What are comforters? Oh, comforters are the things you put over your bed. It's the blanket that is okay. kind of pretty, or sometimes they're quilted. But they yeah. don't fit in your regular washer dryer. You'll ruin your washer dryer. Don't do it. Take it to the big okay. industrial ones. Yeah. People shove it in. And uh, my friend's uh, washer just fell off its little ledge, bro, because, you know, it spins oh. and then it goes, bum, 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 bum. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you for that. Learning something every day here on the Good Morning Portugal Show. Don't but do okay. that. You boys do that, don't you? You feel like as much will fit in there, it must be good. But then the water doesn't circulate and your clothes don't get clean. I know. I know we find this to our cost, <laughs> we, but <laughs> so and there's probably a, a washing machine repair store along that parade of shops as well. Should that happen? So a great video, and there's a foot. You've got a longer length version of that. So where can yeah, it's like that? almost twenty minutes. So if someone's really you know interested, they can go through and poke around the house. You know, just grab yeah. your coffee, see what one's like, and I try to show a little bit of, um, you know, like here's what the doors look like because in America, I think the biggest thing people say is, oh my gosh, those doors are so cool. They're all solid. They're all wood. There's crown moldings. And then I explain, yeah, it's real molding. It's not like a piece of wood they painted. They like, it's concrete and plaster. It's molded. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. we don't know that in America. We're like, wow, that's cool. So. Yeah. And the, these are the amazing properties you're finding. Are local people are, are telling you first? Is that what's going on now? They, are we, we need to tell Veronica up, uh, about yeah, this. Yeah. And we have a lot of pocket listings. Um, the Portuguese yeah. don't always like it. To me, it boggles my brain because when you market a property, you want everybody to know it's for sale. So you get the best price. Right. But a yeah. lot of them are like, yeah, we don't want our neighbors to know we're moving. Dude, you're moving. Like, maybe <laughs> if you told them, they might like their kids or somebody they know to move in. Like, so you tell everybody, you invite everybody to an open house. And then, like, people are like, oh, gosh, I don't want anyone to know. Like, they're going to yes. know when they see you carting your stuff away. Yeah. Do you owe money? Like, what? <laughs> Go away in the night. Yes. But Just sell the like, house. Just don't tell anyone. <laughs> culturally, they don't want the sign out front. They don't want um, anyone okay. to know. And it's like, well, okay, so you have a secret sale. So we have a lot of pocket listings. And because these clients kind of come through my channel and I kind of help them, well, did you want Ecuador? Did you want Mexico to not waste the agent's time, which we'll get into later, yeah. um, that I can kind of pre-qualify them, find out what they want to do. I made a little free plan or like close your eyes, envision your life. Do you oh. see yourself on a beach? Do you see yourself in the country? Where do you see yourself? So that way they're not like, oh, we want you to take us all over Villa Real, but they really want where you're at. Yes. You know? yes. And in that case, then I just pop them up to you or Carl. I give Carl referrals. So we kind of spread around the love and make sure these people are pre-qualified because for every one qualified person, there's probably a hundred that are just time wasters. Is that how it, how bad it is? Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I had yeah. like 50 to 100,000 on one of my videos and I only got 350 filled out applications. Wow. Okay. That's interesting, isn't it? And it is, so it is a bit like those bridal magazines, as I was mentioning before. And, and we've got this with the country itself, haven't we? Not just properties, 
but they'll for for you know for the thousands of people who are looking at Portugal as somewhere to move, they may never do it. It might just yeah. be like flicking through the pages of a, a bridal magazine, looking at the dresses and um, the, the sort of catering you might have at a wedding as well. OK, that's interesting. So you've got people saying to you, uh, Veronica, let's get this to you. It could be a pocket listing. Don't tell anyone, anyone we're moving. Your process for helping people. So they're going to often find you from the videos. You know, they might see you here on your own videos. And uh, there you are, Portugal Life and Home Buying Help. How does that process start? Can you talk us through that? So I have them feel if they're really interested and they want to talk to me, because a lot of people just email you, hey, I need this. Give me this. I want that. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. let's let's be reciprocal. If you want something from me, I need something for you. So I need you to fill out this questionnaire. A lot of people I'm not filling out a questionnaire. You just waste all of your time telling me everything I want to know just in case I might want to move there someday. But I'm not going to take my time to give you something back. Yes. which does happen a lot with real estate agents, show me around everywhere. And maybe in the future you'll get paid, but nine times out of 10, maybe not. Cause I'll go to the guy next door. Cause you know, he was just there could show me the house. I could buy it faster than going back to mm -hmm. the agent who spent all this time with you. Right. It's just, it's a really unloyal business. So we're trying to change that in America. We had exclusive buyer agreements and I would encourage the agents I trained to have somebody sign that because you wouldn't necessarily sue them. But once you put the agreement in front of them, you're going to go to me and only me. And if you buy within a certain period of time from another agent, after I've spent my time with you, you owe me this much or I get the commission on that place, the equivalent of it from you. Mm -hmm. And it's a, all you have to do is watch their face. The cool people. Yep. No problem. And then, of course, you have to qualify. No problem because you're never going to buy <laughs> or no problem because they're loyal people. So, again, Pre-qualification is huge. So I have them fill out a survey. So right there, that cuts out so many. They yes. won't take the time. And you can do it on your phone. It's like five minutes. Yeah. You know, yeah. where do you want to live? Have you visited here before? Are you in your visa process? Yeah. You know, how many times have you visited? Where have you visited? I have a whole list. How many bedrooms, bathrooms are you bringing? Animals. And a lot of people don't even think about that. Oh, my gosh, I have to bring animals. How much is that going to cost? Like, yes. So it yes. triggers a lot of questions. And then at that point, if they're interested this questionnaire sends them back their questionnaire so they can also print it and scribble on it and, and use it like as a little planner because it might be one year, it might be 10 years. And then if they're seriously interested, I'm like, if you're interested, reply back to this email that you'd like to talk to me. Then I know you're serious. Then I'll talk to them. We'll pair them up with agents and let them go. Um, so yeah, it's really a pre-qualification. And we had a guy come in this week that swore upside down and up one side and down the other. He was loyal. He wanted to work with my agent, but he just visited three other places with three other agents. Mm -hmm. I'm like, how is that loyal? So I was really sketchy with them. And we had a coffee meetup. He met everybody that had actually bought here or rented here through our people kind of came through me. And he was just like, oh, yeah, I just really love, you know, Sal Brashti Airport Hotel. That's not the beach. That's not the ocean. It's inland. It's farmland. It's on the other side of 22. Totally different. So I'm like, okay, this guy's not serious. And we got to talking quite a bit. And it's funny. They'll tell you, oh, yeah, I can buy today. I want to buy today. And then I had him fill out the questionnaire. And he's got, I absolutely can't buy for a year. I <laughs> We so say that, buyers or liars. It's a, okay, so it's a good it's a good process to have people qualify for both sides. By the sound of it, people's time is not getting wasted, yeah. and I think serious people actually don't mind being qualified as serious people if yeah. they're going to get the, if they're going to get the service they want, right? Yeah, and they feel very special, and they understand why. Where the other people are offended, like he was really offended. But you know, my mom's going to buy, my sister's going to. All these people are going to buy, so he's dangling that carrot. Spend yeah. all your time today, maybe for future income. Yeah. You know, you might get something in the future. And to those agents, I would tell them if somebody wants to do that, then charge them hourly. If they're trying to say, "Gimme, gimme, gimme," and maybe I'll give back. It's a profession. This isn't a charity, right? These yes. people have children, friends, and they do contribute to charities that they believe in. It might not be you. So, you know, <laughs> right. we're going to free food. <laughs> We've got Carl joining us in just a moment. Oh. On, the, on, on that note of moving pets uh, to Portugal, tonight I am talking about, well, talk, we're talking to the creator of a service for uh, chartering a jet, a private jet to bring animals. To, so you can sit with your pet 
in luxury, sipping champagne and bring your pooch over on your lap on a private charter flight. Uh, how good does that sound? I'll be talking to Adam, who's behind that service, at 7.30 this evening. And then, of course, at 9, the Dream Team. But for the time being, uh, we ha- we are talking to Veronica, the American in the Algarve, who's just told us about how she operates and some really great tips there for anyone else in the real estate business here in Portugal. And we're bringing onto the screen now, Carl High from the agency. Oh, yes. Hello. From the agency. 